Oh hey, how you doing? I was just testing this new invisible monopod that they sent to me for a review. Uh, it comes with this controller. Uh, they said to wear safety glasses and to step back. So all right. All right, uh, here goes. Whoa! Whoa! Did you see that? What? 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 Learn four ways to remove tripods and other objects from your 360 photos and videos. I'll also show you how I pulled off my invisible camera trick when I shot a 360 video on a hammock. Hi, my name is Mick and you're watching 360 Rumors, the resource that 360 shooters trust for in-depth camera reviews and innovative techniques. Today I'm going to show you four ways to remove tripods and other objects from your 360 photos or videos. First, I'm going to show you two ways to remove objects from 360 photos. Next, I'm going to show you two ways to remove objects from 360 videos. And be sure to watch till the end, I've got something to show you. A few weeks ago, I showed you this video for removing uh, tripods from 360 photos using Edit360 and Snapseed. But now you can do it in one step. The app is called Touch Retouch and I'm going to um, tap on albums. Let's say it's here and tap there. So it brings up the photo and you can see that it's actually a 360 view. So let's say we want to make something disappear. Let's say that uh, clock. So we zoom in by pinching to zoom. And then I tap on object removal on the bottom. And then I just paint over that object that I want to remove. And then I tap go on the bottom right. And it's gone. So if you want to remove other objects, you just go back. Um, so it, it brings you to, back to this 360 view again. You'll see this icon. Then you just go to the next object that you want to remove. So um, let's say you want to remove this cable here. Um, Touch Retouch is this uh, clever feature that's specifically for that. So uh, tap on line removal and then just tap on that, um, that wire that we want to remove. So boom. I don't have to select the whole wire. Let's say we want to remove some more things. Let's uh, press uh, press back, and let's say I want to remove the tripod. Now, with the tripod, you could just use the object removal, like what we did a while ago. But let's say you want to be a little more precise. Um, you can use the clone stamp instead of the uh, object removal. Anyway, I'm gonna select uh, clone stamp, and then I'm gonna um, choose, let's say, this. I'm gonna. That's gonna be the area I'm copying from. Then I'm gonna paint over the um, the tripod. So if you look at it, that area we painted looks a little bit more like the rest of the floor. And you, there are settings here. You can change the opacity, the hardness, size of the brush. So when you're done, just tap on um, the save icon on the upper right corner, and then you can, can tap on settings to select the. Um, export settings and you could choose a JPEG quality as high as 100 um, and or you could even save it in um, PNG or TIFF format. So Touch Retouch is available on the App Store uh, for two bucks so it's not free but easily the best two bucks I've spent and in the future they're gonna have an Android version as well. The second way to remove tripods and shadows from um, your 360 photos is to do it on a desktop. I've shown it before but this is just a recap so you could use either Photoshop or Affinity Photo. Uh, so Photoshop, uh, we open the photo, uh, we create a, we duplicate the layer, create a duplicate, and then we, um, while selecting that layer, go to 3D and then spherical panorama, a new panorama from selected layer. This lets you view the uh, 360 photo in uh, 360 view. We look at the area that we're gonna delete. Then we can use tools such as the um, Let's say the spot healing brush and we just paint over it and watch it disappear. After you're done, um, then click on 3D spherical panorama, um, export panorama, which will export this uh, photo. Photoshop is great, but it's kind of pricey. If you don't have Photoshop, 
You can use Affinity, which is um, a more affordable image editor that also has 360 photo editing features. Select layer, live projection, and then echo rectangular projection. This is going to switch to the 360 view. And then you can look around, look at that uh, spot that we want to delete and use the in painting brush tool here. So we just paint over it, then it's going to delete it. You can also use a clone brush, which is basically their like a uh, clone stamp. So one cool thing about um, Affinity Photo is that it has a patch tool that works in this 360 mode. So you can select a uh, patch tool and draw uh, the, around the area that you want to patch and then you can select the area that you want to use as a patch. Uh, this can be very helpful if you want to, um, you know, patch, let's say tiles or, you know, a fit, uh, like where there's a pattern of, uh, that you want to match. When you're done editing in this 360 mode, you go to layer, live projection, and then remove projection. And presto, the tripod is done. And then you can save it as usual. So those are two ways to remove objects from 360 photos. Now let's learn how to remove objects from 360 videos. So I'm going to show you two ways to do it. The first way is the easy way. Um, and that's with After Effects. We're going to use After Effects. I'm going to assume that you have zero experience with After Effects. After Effects is kind of like uh, Photoshop for uh, videos. First, we're going to import the footage that we're going to use. Um, so like here, I'm importing this uh, footage. And now that it's in the project, I can create a composition from it by right clicking and select new comp from selection. First thing we're going to do is open this VR comp editor. It's this uh, panel here. So we go to window, VR comp editor, click on add to the edit. Um, and then click on add to the, don't worry about those settings. And if you want to look around in the um, 3C video, you type letter C on your keyboard and then you can look around in 360. Now we're going to look at the object that we want to remove, which is this tripod. So we're going to erase that. Um, to erase that first, um, bring the playhead into the, um, the point where you want to start erasing it. So in this case, we're going to bring it to the beginning Then click on the clone stamp tool. Double click on the, the video. You can um, select the um, kind of brush you, you want to use, like the size and all that. And then um, just like the clone stand in Photoshop, you hit uh, alternate and then select the point that we're, you're going to use as the source for the cloning. So let's say here and then start painting it just by dragging the brush just like in uh, Photoshop. And so here's how it looks. You press space bar to play and it looks To finalize this, we go to back to the comp, VR comp editor panel. Uh, and I'm going to click on Open Output Render. So now it brings you back to this echo rectangular view, and you can see that the tripod is done. If you want to finalize it, go File, and then Export, and then add to Adobe Media Encoder Cube, which launches uh, Encoder Cube, and then uh, choose the render uh, resolution, and uh, file name, location. So that was pretty easy, but let's say you don't have After Effects. There are other ways to do it. You can do this in Premiere or some other nonlinear um, editor. So here's how to do it. So let's say you don't have After Effects or you don't want to use After Effects. You can use Premiere as well. Um, it's not as smooth, but it kind of works. So we go import. We uh, import the video that we want to use. So in this case, this one. So import. Uh, we're going to create a new sequence from it. Then we're going to duplicate it. Uh, we, uh, in this case, I hold Alt and then drag it. So I've created actually two copies of this uh, video. Now we'll, we'll look for a target uh, that we want to use to uh, patch this, this tripod. So let's say we want to target this area here. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to rotate the, uh, the sphere, the 360 sphere using the rotate sphere effect and we're going to rotate that area to uh, where we want it to be tilt yeah so around there uh, and 
maybe roll it a bit mm, yeah maybe there take a look at it i'm gonna toggle the invisibility so if you can imagine that that area here um, is a reasonably good patch for that tripod so now uh, we're going to uh, crop this um, this layer so i'm going to apply the crop effect to that layer crop the top um, so we'll leave it that way and then you can use the edge feather to make the blending a little smoother um, so here's how it looks and here's how it looks in 360 you can click on this VR uh, display and then click on uh, play and you can see that it's kind of invisible <clears throat> now uh, if you don't have Premiere you can do the same thing or the same technique using other editors such as Magix Movie Edit Pro Plus. I'm going to duplicate this layer, uh, duplicate. So I've created an, a duplicate layer here. <clears throat> then, then I'm going to rotate the sphere. I'm going to select this video, click the scene rotation, apply effect. See axis? No. Yeah, let's say this one. We're going to apply the uh, section effect to crop it. Uh, we're going to choose um, free proportions and I'm going to drag the corner here to the portion, only the portion that we want to use. So we need to move it as well. So I'm going to click on size position. I'm going to drag it over here and you can see it in 360 view. Well, so as you can see, you could, the edges are more prominent. It, it doesn't have a feathering option, unlike uh, Premiere. But um, if you use an alpha mask instead, uh, then you can be more precise. And yes, you can feather the alpha mask by applying a softening effect to the alpha mask. So remember that video I, I shot on the hammer? figure this one out that looked like it was shot by an invisible flying camera well for that one I didn't use any of these tricks that I just discussed so where was the camera for that shot well it was right right above me but it, I was using two several tricks first of all I used a an invisible monopod in other words uh, a selfie stick or monopod that was thin enough to fall between the lenses of the the camera in that case the insta 361 so i used the in the insta 360 invisible selfie stick which is narrow enough to to be invisible to the insta 361 and to support the monopod i used the hammock itself so you know the hammock has webbing so i inserted the uh, the monopod through those one of those holes and it was like uh, on my side so uh, that's that's where it was and third um, i chose an angle where uh, the shadow would be minimized now that obviously that trick or combination of tricks won't always work in every situation because you don't always have a hammock or anything like that to support the um, monopod but I'm going to show you an invisible monopod that can be used in a wider variety of situations and you'll see one in my next video which will be the ultimate tripod comparison for 360 cameras Still here? Well, that's good because I have one more thing to show you. A lot of people uh, contact me to ask questions and I get tons and tons of emails and messages. Uh, what if there was a way to contact me directly? Wouldn't that be cool? Well, there's a way to do that. I'm going to create this group called um, Please Streamer Super Fans. So all the messages in that group are going to be like high priority for me. So the first 360 Rumor Super Fan is Coldwell. So Coldwell has been watching uh, Three Streamers for a while now uh, he, and he's been commenting consistently on their videos and that's why Coldwell is going to be a Three Streamers Rumors super fan. So do you want to be in the super fan group? It's really easy. All you have to do is comment in this video and do, put the hashtag 360R Superfan. Say how long you've been watching um, Super 360 Rumors. I'm going to find the users who's, who've given the most comments and I'm going to add them to that group. Thanks for watching. Don't miss my next video and I'll see you in 360.